This is the farmhouse where I grew up, where my father grew up, where my grandfather grew up, where my great-grandfather grew up. The main house was built in 1860. We got electricity in 1943 with the Rural Electrification Act. And now what I am doing is I'm removing the majority of the 1960 updates and reverting the era back to somewhere between 1920 and 1950. I'm going to show you each room in the order that I did them years ago. While I am no more of a carpenter or a designer than any member of my family has ever been, I'm doing it to suit me and my tastes. We were looking for a heater for the bathroom, something a little better than the Lasco My Heat, the little 200 watt unit that we'd been using before we started the bathroom rebuild. And on eBay, I stumbled across a 1958 Peerless 7602 gas heater and the nice thing about it was it was color matched to our american standard regency blue when we got it it was in pretty good shape but there was a couple chips in the porcelain so the easiest way to fix it was to order up a bottle of the regency blue porcifix and then you just apply several layers and when you buff it out unless you know exactly where the repair was, you shouldn't be able to see it. And it's an exact color match. So the first step was to take off the front and then remove the gas burner because we're going to make it electric and not gas. We did not have a gas run near the bathroom and we're just going to use the, the Lasco 200 watt heater inside the peerless unit and then we'll test it to see how well it works. With the burner out, we had to remove the burner control because we needed that for looks on the outside of the front case. To make a place for the heater, we had to extend the wall over from the medicine cabinet and then frame and cut a hole in the beadboard. And you can see it's going to set just above our baseboard. And here it is test fit in the wall. And here is a close up of what it's going to end up looking like. And you can see we're running a 10 inch baseboard because that was what the house had back in 1860. So with the burner out of the way, we ran the Romex up through the hole on the right hand side. And then we wired up, we cut the plug off the Lasco, shortened the cord, connected it to the Romex. We went to Home Depot and bought four of those brick magnets and set them as shown in the vertical position and set the heater on its back on the magnets. This heater does not have a tip over sensor so you can set it on its back. So the idea is the heat is going to go up through the old ceramic grates and come out the top just like it did when there was a gas burner. Now you might ask why we don't just set it up right and have it blow out through the lower grate which would be would have been the intake grate. Because it was an intake grate, the inside is not conducive to blowing heat outward. It was reflected back inside. So this is what we came up with. And here is the lower grate with the gas valve installed. And when we turn it around, you can see how we took some wood and some epoxy and attached the knob so that it looks like it's a gas unit. And if you take a close look at the back side of that lower grate, you can see why we couldn't blow hot air out through the grate because it would have been reflected back in by the way they formed the grate. And here is the peerless heater fully installed. And if you look on the left hand side of the lower grate on the third little slot, you can see a little red light. That is the red light from the Lasco My Heater. In chapter 14 of the bathroom renovation. We'll be covering the electrical in the bathroom and in that you will see the switch assembly that we have for the heater. So then we had to do some performance tests to see if it was going to work and after about five eight minutes after the heater has warmed up the ceramic grate and you have 
hot air coming out of the top vents, it is coming out at 110 degrees. And given the size of our bathroom, if you, when you decide you're going to take a shower, if you go in and turn that on and come back in 10 minutes, the bathroom is considerably warmer than it was. And that is how we took a 1958 Peerless gas heater and converted it to electric for our 1950s bathroom renovation.